Luna, thank you so much for being here with me. Oh, thank you for having me. Of course, so let's start by talking about what exactly does your company do? So at Genesis Bio, we take organic waste, all kinds of forms, food waste or industrial waste, and we convert that into compostable plastics. Very cool. How did you get the idea for this? So back during my master's program in University of Toronto, I had a chance to visit a biogas facility where they convert food waste into biogas. Mm -hmm. And then very quickly I realized that throughout the entire process, there's these really great carbons you can get from food waste that can also be fed to much more efficient bacteria to make higher value products instead. A lot of companies today, and especially a lot of startups, are looking at ESG and looking at you know the climate crisis and doing things. I think to kind of just like tick a box and say, okay, you know, we're helping the environment. Is there a personal mission that you're motivated by? For me personally, I actually grew up in China in mm -hmm. one of the most polluted cities. So growing up, I saw okay. a bunch of pollution, smog everywhere. So I thought we need to be able to do something to really help alleviate that. And how how are you working to do that now? Well, so with our technology, we basically take organic waste feedstocks that would otherwise go into landfills. And in the landfills, they actually release roughly 7% of greenhouse gas emissions as they degrade, right? And so by essentially diverting that stream away from landfills and converting that into compostable plastics, mm -hmm. we can essentially offset a huge amount of carbon emissions. Who are your customers? Tell me a little bit about who you're making this for. Absolutely. So traditionally, our customers has been B2B customers. So mm -hmm. large CPG brands like Novo Nordisk and Unilever. But this year, we're actually planning to launch our own products directly to consumers. So it'll be really exciting to see that. What type of products? In the food and beverage space, as well as in the cosmetic space with okay. PHAs. I want to get a sense of the, the scale of your company. Can you talk to me a bit about either customers or sales or anything like that that'll help me understand? Absolutely. So this year we have roughly around $5 million in revenues plus around $10 million in purchase orders and additional deals that we have signed. In terms of the impact that we can have, we really do think that next year is going to be a big year for us because beyond just the B2B sales, we will be launching those products direct to consumers. And that's mm -hmm. where we do believe that we can do a lot more better job in terms of marketing it and bringing about a new type of plastic to the world. So talk to me about your fundraising journey. How'd you get to where you are today? I think we're really lucky to have a lot of great investors backing us. So for mm -hmm. example, Series A we raised last year with Coastal Ventures leading the round. And then earlier this year, we had Amazon Pledge Fund co-lead our Series A extension. And we're also backed by Y Combinator. So just really, really great to be connected with all these amazing people. What's your total funding right now? We have raised roughly $17 million to date. And then we also have roughly $15 million of grant funding. I'm Luna. Genesis Bio Industries. So what's it like to be A, such a young founder, and B, a, a woman in a very male-dominated, science-heavy space? I'd say I think it's actually a privilege, to be honest. I think because of who we are, like we actually really stand out in the industry. Yeah. And a lot of times, maybe it's a negative, but we like to see the positive side of things and really use it to our advantage. So for example, when our company was first founded back in 2018, mm -hmm. we actually won some great women founder-focused pitch competitions. Oh. And you know that was sort of an exclusive access that only yeah. we had access to. So just really being able to capitalize on that, I think. If you could go back in time and tell yourself one piece of advice the day before you launched your company, mm -hmm. what would it be? I think if I were to go back in time, the biggest advice I'd give to myself is learn how to fail fast. Learn how to basically experiment on ideas and figure out what the most riskiest element is to that. De-risk it first, and if it doesn't work, then move on mm -hmm. and basically adjust course. Mm -hmm. 